Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a creative self portrait using an existing image and, you know, really not having to paint original paint strokes at all, but coming up with a pretty cool image in the end. So we're going to work with this image here, and the final example is here. And this has a lot of things going on. It's got some illustrator work, it's got some uh, painting, some drawing. Uh, splatters, uh, masks, a lot of different blend modes. This is the this is the way it's going to go. So it's pretty cool. And to get started with this, we're going to have to take our existing layer and create a regular layer from this background. We're going to double click it and click OK. So now we take this layer zero and we're going to have another layer above it. The layer above it, we're going to call it paint back. And Paintback has a unique uh, job. It's going to recolor the entire image. Now, to do this, we're going to use a special brush, and I'm going to load that brush in from a preset of brushes that I'm going to give you. So we're going to load in some brushes, and these are ones here, Ink Creative Portrait Brushes, and we'll load them in. Now, this is a pretty big list of different splatters and cool grunge effects. Well, the ones we really want to mess with right now are these first two, 14 and 142, that were added in. This one here is a brush that is based upon one of the uh, stock brushes, and all I did was basically make it scatter and make it twist around. And I'm applying a transfer pen pressure to it, so it fades in color. Now what we're going to do is use some bright colors here to recolor this painting. So we're just going to we're going to just kind of paint like crazy. Now this is painting really big. You can kind of see how that is. And I want to get lots of colors in here. So I'm going to get some reds. I'm going to get uh, some some blues. And we want to definitely get all around these values. I don't want to just do a couple different types of colors here. I want to have a lot of fun with this. Okay. So get a whole bunch of colors going, and as you bring them up, they're gonna, they're there so that we can kind of paint over and mix on top of the original here. So I'm gonna be using what I have to kind of continue my painting move forward and getting some other values in there. Uh, let's get some yellow, and we'll get some yellow in there. All right, so your goal here is to kind of paint across the entire. Uh, landscape of the image. Your entire picture plane needs to have value on top of it, kind of just painting over different sections. And what I'm going to do is jump ahead and show you where I finish this off. Okay, so now that I have the entire section done with a whole bunch of colors, I want you to understand this is here to recolor the original background. If I were to take this layer and put it into overlay mode, you can see how it's recoloring it. But the transitions between the colors are too harsh at the moment. So we're going to leave it back in normal, and we want to use a brush called the Mixer Brush. Now the Mixer Brush, I can choose that same brush, that 142 brush. And notice it's on uh, a slightly different set of settings. I have the load and clean up here all set up to work. I have a wet 80%, load 75, mix 90, and flow 100. And what I want to do here is basically use this to blend these colors together. Now I'm going to make my brush a little bigger here, and so it's about 250 right now. And you can kind of see how this will kind of just blend these colors. And that's what I want to do. I want to make it just not so so separate of colors. I want to let some of them mix. Now if I mix too much, if I don't, if I try and do a super huge brush, it's going to uh, mess it up. Let me show you. If I use a super huge brush, you see it, after a while it just turns into one color. Let me uh, step backward on that. And so you want to keep your brush still using these um, this little tiny sections of color, you know, in a small brush. But you don't want to mix it so much that you get uh, a muddy brown color within it. And so that's what I want you to really work on, is making sure you mix your entire page up using a, um, a quick 
uh, effect like this. And I'm going to get back to you on the end of that. So now that I've blended out my harsh edges, uh, what I want to do is go ahead and maybe check to see how this looks. Let's put an overlay. And it's a little darker than I want, so what I'm going to do is just brighten it up again. I'm going to go image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and I'm just going to brighten this up a little bit. Let's see here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, something a little brighter, like that. Okay, so now that I have this image on here, uh, the way this is going to work is we're going to draw our images or draw on top of this, taking the color from this paint back image combined with this bottom one. But in the end, we're going to get rid of most of this bottom layer. So what we want to do is create a new layer. And this one here, we're going to call it Sketch Lines. So the Sketch Lines layer is where we're going to create our pencil drawing. Uh, the pencil drawing is going to well, be more like a colored pencil drawing. And it's going to use the paintbrush and the brush that's around the middle of your set now called uh, Oil Pastel Large 1. And it's a... Uh, 14 so it's the one that marked 14 when you bring it up in your brush panel it kind of looks like a um, one of those dry media brushes and it is based upon that so what we want to do is zoom in close and we're going to just find an area that we're not too concerned about right now so like the top of his forehead here it is looking a little weird now that's got so many colors in it uh, but what we're going to do is just go in and see if we can change some of those. We're going to take some colors that are relatively the same value and kind of draw with them. So let's see what happens here. So these are kind of like green sketch lines. You can kind of see how that, that looks sketchy, okay, when I draw on top of it. And I'm going to take some values and just see if I can draw on top of some of these things as I as I go through here. And... I'm going to get some values from over here to lighten up some sides because I know he should be a little lighter on this side. And so we kind of work, you know, a bunch of different colors within this. Start in a section like this that has a lot of, um, it's just kind of one random color versus starting, starting on something detailed like the eye. Okay, so you want to kind of follow the uh, contours of the shape. So like in this case, I'm, I'm kind of working all the same direction here. And I'd want to have my, my pencil lines kind of fall down here and continue on that same shape. So let's see if I can get some of that coming down here. A little too bright or too dark, so we'll lighten that up some. And just kind of shade up on top of it here. And trying to work some of these same directions and same contours to where the overall effect is neutral on the design and you don't actually change much of the design at all. Let's see how this looks. And so I'm going to add some little lines over here around the eye and definitely some on top of the cheek here. I want to make that look round. Definitely want to bring in some other colors in there so it's not just one. And uh, it's a little too dark, so take some of that back off. And you're just kind of augmenting the values that you see. All right, so now that I've augmented these values, what I want to do is continue that on in some of the other parts of the face. And I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Now that I've drawn around the face, I want to start getting into some of the details. When doing the details, you want to make sure that you have a pretty small brush. Mine's 10. Uh, too much smaller and the brush actually starts to disappear. So, I want to definitely get a dark color. So we'll sample something dark around this eye here. And we'll just start drawing kind of around the edge of the eye. We'll see if we can brush out some some eyelashes. Gabriel's got some pretty long ones. Now on the bottom here I'm going to use a slightly lighter color. So we're going to sample a lighter color and kind of come come around. I definitely want to lighten up some of the inside of the eye here. So I'm going to spend some time kind of lightening up some of that inside area. Just kind of enhancing that and 
maybe a darker value over here, but it's still way lighter than what it was. Let's see how that looks. And uh, let me pause for just a second. Now, if you're going to be working on something like the nose down here, the problem you're going to run into a lot of times with noses is that usually the nostrils start to become these big black blobs. Don't let that happen to your nostrils, no matter if you do see big black blobs for the nostrils. Make sure you are uh, minimizing that because when you put a big black dot in the middle of your picture, it jumps out at you. So instead, you want to be relatively gentle with it. So let's do that. Let's uh, work on this line here. We're going to get a relatively dark color here and we're going to come around this line and nice and easy around like so. And what you don't want to do, like I said, is make a big blob there. Just minimize that value. Make it not so dark. If you make it black, make it like really dark. It's going to look really bad when you finally finish your picture. So definitely minimize that. I'm going to definitely put some creases along here along the line of the uh, smile line here, the cheek. And I definitely want to get some uh, bright spots in here in the nose, and over here on the nose, and kind of take some of these existing colors and work them around some of these other areas. And so you just want to keep doing this all around your work here. Uh, I'm going to put some highlights on the eye here just to kind of get some highlights on there so you can see how that's looking. And you just want to keep working around your image, filling in each of these sections just a little bit at a time here, uh, keeping keeping the colors looking sketchy. You want it to have a sketchy look. Okay, so just keep moving around it for um, all the little details. I'll work on some of these other parts and get back to you on the back side.